Hello everyone and welcome back with another PLC tutorial for our series we are discussing the statement list language STL that is introduced for Siemens PLCs okay today we are going to continue uh, illustrating this language by uh, introduce the following negative and falling positive instructions here we have used a falling negative instructions and also here and uh, here so that's a very simple example for this instruction we have here a simple production line that separate two types of packages that is the high one and that is the short one the high one goes to the right and the short one goes to the left that's a very basic and a very simple example uh, the old system is automated by some switches which is photocell sensors that is control the conveyors uh, stopping and the conveyor starting uh, we will explain for this switches here this switch is responsible for turn off this conveyor when just the package goes to its place so when just this sensor detects the package is on its place uh, it will uh, turn off the conveyor for the maybe the power consuming we want we 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 don't want to operate this conveyor 24 hour per day we just want to turn it on when it's loaded and that is uh, detected by this switch okay so we want to when this package goes to its place please turn off the conveyor okay so we can see that here that is the network for the left conveyor and this network for the right conveyor when the switch detected a signal and the following negative this instruction detected that the package is now in its place detected that the package now is passing the switch because if we remove it if we remove this instructions the package when just it comes to the photocell sensor the conveyor stops and the package will not goes to its place we can make this for now we can just make this one as a comment and this one also and let's see what it's gonna happen okay download and uh, start again we can see that when just the package goes to the sensor the conveyor will be off and the package doesn't go to its place and uh, that's totally wrong so so that is a totally wrong for the system we want just when the package goes to its place so when the, just the switch is turning is is turning off when just the switch is going to be off please stop the conveyor that's what we want so we will get back what we have that okay and uh, download it again and uh, let's start 
and uh, this one is uh, will not operate as a uh, system in Flatchy, so we can make this okay and let's try here we will get that the sensor will not stop the conveyor just when it's off so the conveyor also will be off we can try with another package here when just the sensor is be on the conveyor is starting to move and uh, here we can see that the conveyor is moving and then, um, here and when just the sensor is on the conveyor is continue continue till it's off and the conveyor stops i hope that you get the idea of course there's a lot of uh, other examples and uh, there's a lot of other situations that you have to use this instructions that's a simple one i hope that you got the idea and uh, see you soon for another tutorial goodbye